If you have never programmed before, getting started in the world of controlled programming could seem a bit overwhelming. But do not worry, Delta's GCL Plus programming language is designed to be easy to learn. If you come from an electrical background, you already have some basic knowledge of programming logic. Let's look at some electrical wiring examples to show you what I mean. Look at this first example. How do we turn the light on? Basically, we close the switch. So if switch 1 is closed, then the light will turn on. Look at this second example. How do we turn the light on? Basically, if switch 1 and switch 2 close, then the light will turn on. Look at this third example. How does the light turn on? If switch 1 or switch 2 close, then the light will turn on. The other piece of understanding you require to tackle controls programming is some basic algebra skills. In school we would write an equation like this, 50 plus 50 equals 100. But could we not also write it this way, 100 equals 50 plus 50? They're basically the same thing, correct? You just need to know that what is to the left of the equal sign equals what is to the right. We will expand this equation slightly to be more algebraic, but at the same time it's getting closer and closer to GCL plus language. As you can see, we got to remember what's on the left equals what's on the right, but we also need to do our order of operation. So 5 times 10 is 50 in both cases, so we got to do what's in the brackets first. We add them together and we get 100. The way in which we solve this equation is the exact way a controls program is executed by a controller. Computer programming is basically translating. We take a sentence or a paragraph that's written in English and we have to translate it into the machine language. So let's go back to our first wiring diagram. So we would say in English, if switch 1 is closed, then the light will turn on. A very similar expression is common in controls programming, called an if statement. Here it is written out so as to turn on our light. The if statement has been used in programming languages for decades. Here is how it works. If the conditions listed in the first line is true, then the following line will be executed. If those conditions in the first line are not true, in this case if the switch is off, then the following line is skipped and the controller will go directly to the end if statement. Now that we have gotten our controller to turn on the light, we need to tell it to turn off the light also. This is a common mistake everyone makes, but we need to remember the controller is not that smart. We need to tell it to do everything. If we left the code example in our controller as is, what would happen is the light would turn on the first time switch 1 is pressed and remain on indefinitely, no matter what state switch 1 is in. So what code can we write to get the light to turn off? How about another if statement? This one will look for when switch 1 is in the off state and then disable our light for us. Hopefully this introduction to controls programming has shown you that you have the skills to program and that it is not too difficult to learn. In the next tutorial, we will take what we have learned so far and actually program it into a controller and see if it works, and also continue to program our other wiring examples.